Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you a very healthy recipe. It is vegan and vegetarian friendly. It is so easy and so simple to make. I hope you like it. And these are the ingredients. These are good for about four servings. And we're going to need half of a red bell pepper and half of a medium eggplant, one can of a garbanzo bean, and paprika to taste, dry thyme to taste, a half of a zucchini, half of a red onion, and about four tablespoons of chopped parsley, and about two cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, a whole tomato, tomato paste, and one bay leaf. And I'm going to serve this with quinoa. Uh, first, I'm going to start uh, cooking my quinoa. You can replace this with anything else if you want. You can do brown rice instead. And in a pan, I'm going to add the oil and I'm going to saute my onion, add the bell pepper, the garlic, the zucchini squash, and the eggplant. You can add everything at once if you like. I just do it this way because I don't want my veggies to be overcooked. Add the tomato, and now add all the seasoning, salt and pepper, the paprika, the thyme, and the tomato paste and the bay leaf. And now we're going to add the garbanzo beans. Make sure you wash your garbanzo first. Mix very well, and now we're going to cover it and let it cook for about three to four minutes. If you want your veggies to be uh, a little bit more cooked, let it cook for longer. And the last thing we're going to add it is the parsley. Add more seasoning, salt or pepper if it's necessary. And there you have it. It is so easy and very quick to make. It is only going to take you like 15 minutes or less to make this dish. It is vegetarian friendly, vegan friendly, and if you're trying to lose weight, this is perfect. You can make this for lunch or dinner and it's great for leftovers also. And if you don't want the quinoa, you can skip the quinoa or replace it with something else. Or you can have it just by itself because the garbanzo bean has a lot of proteins and a lot of fiber. So it is great for a whole meal to just have it by itself without any grain. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And till next time, bye-bye. Oh, and if you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe.